I discovered a new link in bio called solo.2 and I was like, I need to link you up. This is what you get when you're actually using your phone to do that. As you can see, they kind of give you like a layout of the things that you can choose, as you can see right there. And you can also check the pricing to just see which kind of plan you want. The one we're going to be signing up for is the beginner level. You're just testing out, you're trying to see if you like it. These are the options that are there. If you want a more personal account, these are the options that are there and it's a dollar a month. If you are an entrepreneur, five dollars a month and if you want it on a more professional level it's ten dollars a month and these are all the things that are available to you right now so what you want to do is gonna you're gonna press where it says start for free then you press on that button and then you're gonna sign up so i'm signing up for my food page so it's called it's fab food i'm just gonna type that real quick and then i'm gonna enter all my details my email password everything else this part we're just gonna browse through it you're gonna put in your email create uh, your password and everything else Alrighty, so now that we're in and you signed in, you've put in your email and the password and it checked that you don't have an existing account. This is the landing page and you can just see how to customize your page. It kind of gives you like a welcoming tutorial on how to get started with everything. So this is the first page that it starts with. So I'm going to upload my photo, the one that I want to represent my food page. So you're going to go to your photo library. It's good to just have one saved. You pick one. And if it's good with the size, you can always just size it if you want it to be bigger or smaller so that it kind of fits the circle. So if it's your face, make sure it's like a picture that can fit the profile that they want. Once you're happy with this, then you can just say upload photo and then you're good to go. Then it picks the picture and then you can pick like a color profile that you want. For this one, I'm just going to go with like this red over here. I like that. And then for my name, then I just pick the name that's for the page so basically the name of your brand your business or wherever then if you want you can also just put your location based in Cape Town or wherever that you're based in and then for your bio you can put in something if you want to explain more about your brand or what this is about or you know welcome uh, this is about all the fab food recipes that you're gonna get so I'm just gonna write something real quick yeah for all your food recipes i'm um, your plug right and as you can see some things are locked at the moment so this is only what you can do as a beginner so you're just testing out what's there or what's not there so once you are satisfied with the profile picture and everything else you can go ahead and save it so this is how it's gonna look and then before we do anything you can now add your links which is why we're here anyways and i like that it's so simple to do so you just press where it says add new you put in link and then you can add in the links that you want so i already have a page that's open here ready with all the links that i want to be personalized on the copy link so you're just gonna go and paste your link like you see over here and i already have the title so follow me on instagram so put in a call to action if you want people to follow you or if you're a quick recipe for this then you can also just put that then you'll be good to go if you want to put anything else as you can see everything is locked so once you're done you just say done and then it actually saves everything that you have over there then we can go ahead and actually add so this is how the link looks i like that it actually puts the picture so you don't have to really think of a proper picture to put on it puts on off the app that you put on then you're gonna keep on adding the links so then i'm just gonna do that and show you what it looks like once you've done that I'm just gonna add the second link this one is to my facebook page same thing you copy the link and it's just a copy and paste thing and if you have everything that you know already done since i'm already showing you what you can put in which is optional you can put in anything that you find interesting uh as long as it's a call to action so people can actually be enticed to click and follow you in everything that you do so same process you say done you scroll up and it actually does that so i'm gonna put in my last link and show you a cool thing just like a little something so once you're done with all your links you save them so depending on which one you want people to see like immediately you can actually just click on your on your links like that and then you can move them however you want in the order of importance then if you're satisfied you save it right 
and then after you save it then you can go all the way so that you can do like a preview so this is how it looks that's the profile picture that's the banner that you actually managed to put in and those are the links and your 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 bio your location and everything else it actually helps if you're also a business or even a content creator just to you know situate yourself so people know where you're at if you don't want to put location it's okay so this is the link we already created and on top there if you're happy with everything else it's already saved so you can just click on that little button on the side there where they looks like two pins are meeting and then you've already copied it to the clipboard then you're gonna go and hop into your Instagram account and you know put it in your link and see what happens so now when it's now in your Instagram bio you just go edit profile I'm just gonna put it real quick and where it says website done and this is how it now is gonna look on your profile so there you go you've created a solo dot two link in bio as you can see you can also go in and edit and put more links and all of the good stuff and you can actually come here back to the page and check your analytics the more you actually get more clicks to actually see what people are interested in clicking and what links you should actually put on top sometimes you can put a link on top that people are not clicking but the one on the bottom is actually what people are interested in then you can move it up and then you just keep on updating your link in bio too like that let me know if this video was actually easy for you to follow if you're interested in more link in bio two type of videos if you want to see what more options are out there check out this video over there of linktree and the one over here for milkshake otherwise i'll see you in my next video much love and light Mwah.